hello everyone today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have c plus 3 to the power of 4 and its whole square root is equals to 4 square and we solve this problem for the values of c here we find all the roots of this equation uh, and i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so uh, here uh, we move forward uh, to the solution of this problem and the very first thing we are going to do is here first uh, we convert our left hand side uh, from radical to exponential form uh, so this is radical form and we easily convert this radical into the exponent form we know that uh, the radical is equals to 1 over 2 so we convert this into this form and in the right hand side we have this is 4 square so further uh, we need to apply here the nice exponent law you know that uh, uh, if we have a to the power of uh, uh, m to the power of n is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n so according to this exponent law these two exponents are multiplied by each other and we get c plus 3 to the power of 4 multiplied by 1 over 2 is equals to 4 square and now here in the next step we have this is uh, c plus 3 to the power of this is, these are cancelled out by each other and we have this is 2 times of 2 becomes 4 and we get c plus 3 whole square is equals to this is 4 square and now here further we move the 4 square in the left hand side and it will be written as a c plus 3 whole square this is positive value when we move in the left hand side it will becomes negative value then we have c plus 3 whole square minus 4 square is equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need to use here the nice algebraic formula so for this we apply here this nice famous formula if you have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b and here our uh, the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so we put the values of a and b in the right hand side of this equation uh, so we have first you have a minus b the value of a is c plus 3 minus the value of b is 4 only into uh, again we have the value of a is c plus 3 and plus b the value of b is plus 4 only and this is equals to 0 so here further we need uh, more simplifications and here we add or subtract the like terms and we have c pl uh, this is 3 minus 4 becomes here minus 1 into this is 3 plus 4 becomes 7 and the whole equation equals to 0 and now here in the next step uh, we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write c minus 1 equals to 0 and the second case is we write c plus 7 equals to 0 and now here in the next step we easily get the value of c from here and we move this minus 1 to the right hand side and we get the value of c is equals to 1 and from here we easily get the value of c and this plus 7 is equals to minus 7 and this is the value this is the second value of c so uh, in this problem we have the two values of c one is uh, one is plus 1 and the second value is minus 7 so these are the two values which we get here from the given equation and now in the next step we need to verify these two values uh, and here we check that is these two values are uh, satisfied our given question statement or not okay so that for verification of the values uh, we need to copy down the given question statement here and we have c plus 3 to the power of 4 and its whole square root is equals to 4 square so this is the our given question statement and now here first we verify the value of c equals to 1 okay and now uh, here we need to put the value of c equals to 1 in the left hand side of this equation and we have square root of 
this is c plus 3 the value of c is 1 and plus 3 to the power of 4 is equals to this is 4 square and we check that our left hand side is equals to 4 square and 4 square becomes here 16 so here uh, we need uh, some working in the left hand side uh, in order to check is it equals to right hand side or not uh, so for this we have 1 plus 3 is equals to 4 to the power of 4 and its whole square root and here we check that is this equals to 16 or not and now in the next step we need to write over this radical form into the exponent form so for this we write it as it is equals to 1 over 2 and here we check that is this equals to 16 or not so here we apply the exponent law and we multiply these two exponents and it will be written as 4 to the power of 4 times of 1 over 2 and here we see that it is it equals to 16 or not so here we have little bit simplification so this is 2 times of 2 becomes 4 and we get here this is 4 square uh, and it is uh, equals to 16 or not and clearly you see here 4 square becomes 16 is equals to 16 so this shows that uh, the value of c is equals to 1 is satisfied our given question statement so c equals to 1 be the first solution of the given equation and now here we move uh, forward and we can find the value of uh, now we can check the uh, second value of c uh, and uh, we have the second value of c is equals to minus 7 and here we put this value of c in the left hand side of the given equation so this is the left hand side of the given equation and we put the value of c here and it will be written as minus 7 plus 3 to the power of 4 and its whole square root is equals to 4 square and we have this is minus 7 plus 3 becomes minus 4 to the power of 4 and its whole square root and here we see check that is this equals to 16 or not uh, so for this we first convert uh, this exponent form into uh, this radical form into the exponential form and we write it as minus 4 to the power of 4 and its whole power is 1 over 2 and here we check that is this equals to 16 or not and now here in the next step we use the exponent law and we will multiply uh, these two exponents and it will be written as in this form this is minus 4 to the power of 4 multiplied by 1 over 2 and here we check that is this equals to 16 or not okay so here we need more simplifications and it will be written as uh, this will becomes 2 to the 4 and we have minus 4 square is equals to 16 or not and so you see here minus 4 square becomes 16 is equals to 16 so this shows that the second value of c is also satisfied the given question statement and finally we have the two roots of the given equation are uh, c1 is equals to 1 and c2 is equals to minus 7 so these are the two real roots of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos